What's up guys, YouTube? It's uh, Xbox 360 Professor back here uh, doing another t tutorial for the uh, Light On um, LT Plus firmware. So let's go ahead and get started. Now it's, it was just released uh, probably about two days ago, so I'm going to go ahead and just step you through what you need and let's get started. First thing that you need is going to be the new version of the Jungle Flasher. It's going to be version. I believe it's 1.76B. Yep. That's going to be the new one that you're going to need to uh, flash your drive. So I'm going to close this for a second. And before you start everything, you want to make sure that you grab the firmware. Just grab it from the usual places. And dump it into this folder right here. The firmware folder, just dump the firmware right there so it'll auto auto load it later. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go ahead and launch Jungle Flasher. Again, that's version 1.76b. Alright. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and power on the drive. Here's my drive right here, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, while that's on, we're going to go ahead and load up the uh, stock firmware, so uh, make sure that you have it with you. So we're going to click on open, open source firmware, navigate to your stock firmware. It's going to ask you, um, do you want to auto load the um, iXtreme firmware? You want to say yes to that if you save it in the right location. Say yes. And right there it should auto populate the keys. So make sure that your source and your target firmware, the keys, they are the same. Make sure they don't have leading apps, leading zeros. Uh, otherwise it's going to be a bad key. When you flash it, it's not going to work right. And just to verify, it is LT Plus. Right down here at the output screen, it does say firmware is LT Plus. So this is the latest one uh, to combat the uh, AP 2.5 security checks that Microsoft is doing. So I just want to verify that I, you know, it is a legit copy and it does show up as a, a correct copy so you should be good to go. So now we're going to go ahead and erase the drive. So we're going to go to MTK Flash 32 and go to Light On and Erase. Now it's going to say two warnings. You just want to just say yes to both of them. Yes. Yes and it sh it'll time out, it's going to say an error right there. So what we need to do is actually power cycle the drive and put it into uh, an intro device ID. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn off the drive. Okay, we're going to turn it back on. Oop, then turn on. Now it's on. Now we'll go ahead and click on the intro device ID right there. And then we'll go ahead and power cycle the drive. Uh, you'll say yes to this when it comes up. So it's going to be power cycling the drive. Okay. And right there, flat, good flash properties came up. The zero. I think 0x72. Yep, 0x72 came up, so that means it's good. And we'll go ahead and uh, proceed in flashing the drive. To do that, we're going to click on the right button. And right now it's uh, erasing, and it's going to be writing those banks. Right there, it says right, verified okay, and then all I have to do is click on outro ADA reset, confirm it in the log, and it is now done. So now we can go ahead and just set it up and uh, 
test it out. Um, so you should be good to go after that. Um, from what I understand is that it is safe to actually upgrade it from LT to LT plus, but I just did it on the safe side and actually flashed it to stock, applied the new dashboard update, and then flashed it from stock to the LT plus firmware. So I just did it the safe way, but they say online that it's actually safe to just do a, a flash straight to LT plus. So it's your preference, you know, if you want to just go straight to it, that's fine and not flash back to stock. But if you want to be, you know, safe and just do it, do, do it how I did it, then that's fine. So just pick and choose, but we'll go ahead and test that and you should be good to go. Um, if you have any comments, questions, just uh, leave, um, you know, leave those uh, comments on my page and we'll just go from there. Okay. So I'll see y'all later. Later.